we've been waiting here now just for, I know there's a little bit of cleaning going on and all that, but holy moly, by the time we get this done, it could be, you know, th uh, three or four o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon. Um, really lovely to meet you. I, I was amazed by um, by by the the fact that I, I kind of knew your name, but then when I looked at your, your performance and all that, I thought, holy moly, this person's in, in, in Greystones. For you, I know early on it was, um, you know, Sinatra and Fleetwood Mac and, and, and people like that kind of being played, and, and uh, also you, you kind of... At the age of six, you got a karaoke machine, which always is a, a kind of a. Is yes, it was six, right? I did. But then you blame your your sister mainly for for the for the love of uh, and want to sing. She was already a singer then, I guess. She was a singer. She's very she's a fantastic singer, but she's very shy. So ah. I suppose with me being the age that I was at six, you don't really have any inhibitions. You just go and do it. <laughs> uh, so I was a very lively, energetic one, and my dad had a fantastic voice. So we actually any dinner party that my mum and dad had, we'd go and do little duets together. Ah, so nice. I think that is where, and obviously I was brought up in a lot of jazz, so that's where the love for it came from. Well, that 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 love that that especially children have a great kind of um, openness about art and music yes. and painting and everything else, but it's it's hard for most to kind of hold on to it as as teenage life happens. You sort of get into the reality of oh, I need a job, I need to do normal nine to five things. For you, was it was it was it a, a kind of a, a long hard battle to get to somewhere like the Voice of Ireland, or did it just sort of happen that you were? kind of on this path anyway or just kind of happened I was lucky enough that I got to do drama lessons when I was younger and I got to do music so I played the violin from a very early age and I was in a school secondary school where music was a big part of it and I did lots of musicals growing up and theatre shows and stuff so I was always involved in it so I guess when it came to college I then studied music so I've always been involved in it and um, so doing the voice I guess was just another addition to that well, I saw. Uh, was it before the Voice of Ireland that you were on the Late Late Show? I, I mean, yeah. it's kind of sweet that you you know these these moments are huge in a, in a in a young person's life, and then yes. they do kind of all add up because you realise that you know it's magic, but as well it is just you know normal people are are able to do this. That you you don't have to be somebody connected to somebody else. You can just get up there and sing, and you can make it onto television. And I mean, was that a big step, or was again I don't know if it just felt oh. This is this is just another day for me. I'm I'm very lucky, but <laughs> yeah, I was sat down watching the Late Late Show with my parents, and I saw the auditions coming up, and I was 16 at the time, which is quite old to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit, uh, but I'd always loved watching it, so I said, "Ah, oh, sure, luck. I'll just give it a shot." And I think I don't think they really have an age that you're not meant to do it. But I mean, 16 is pretty old when you look at the younger <laughs> kids that are on it. So I just went with it, and uh, they had so many talented kids that I auditioned with one song, and then they asked me to join a Bollywood dance troupe and then I did the Jai Ho song uh, it was a great experience I loved it wow. people kind of came off and they're like did you get the big goodie bag you know that the audience get and I was like no you don't come away with any like <laughs> big hamper or anything uh, well cool. I'm thinking that you mentioned the Bollywood thing and and and, and uh, your name too uh, I'm guessing like your your family roots go deeper into I'm not sure exactly where the name is that a uh, so reference? the roots are from India right um, and but my my dad's family live in South Africa but they're oh. South African Indian so what a great mix that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you nice. looked out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should say now that when, when it came to the Voice of Ireland, you mean Jamelia uh, was your mentor, and mm. she'd be somebody who would, who would have a, a great understanding of, you know, having had a huge hit in 2000 with Superstar, and you know, she's had a bunch of albums out, but, you know, making that move into TV presenting and generally being, a, you know, a kind of a jack of all trades, really being able to do quite a few different things. I, I mean, I guess, I don't know, when, when talking to her, there was that sort of realization that this is a tough business really I mean it's very joyful and it's an amazing you know uh, treat in life to be able to do something you love yes. but it is uh, from acting to, to music to painting and writing and all that it's it's not exactly an easy nine to five job where you get a, a certificate and then you can just go and earn money for the rest of your life no it's no. not <laughs> it is tough um, but I think a show like that you don't get the opportunity to sing the stuff that you want and I found for me it was a brilliant platform and the experience was amazing but I am predominantly I grew up on jazz and I had to sing pop songs on it you know right, so right. Um, in that sense you didn't really get a say which I was expecting when I went into it you know I knew I wouldn't be able to sing my jazz song they told me I was too young to be singing such old songs and I said well that's kind of what makes me different and the fact that I do sing old songs even though I'm a young person but yeah, yeah. well there's a great kind of um I think people have become more kind of in tune with, with with the classic kind of you know jazz standards mm. especially and people like Nora Jones and then Melody and, and there's been a, a quite a lot of successful singers who would be predominantly in the, in that area I think of Diana Krall as well Elvis yeah. Costello's wife so there does seem to be a healthy time that people maybe it's partly to do with the sort of celebration of the voice through talent shows that people realize 
a big you know production of, of you know a wonderful song with a with a beautiful voice or just a tender moment of piano and voice it's actually stronger than a million kind of beats yes <laughs> yeah it's so true. would you have a kind of a, a game plan then would you sort of aim for a certain you know place that you'd like to be i don't know whether the live is the thing whether an album is kind of always in the back of your mind yes i love performing live and a venue like this is such a lovely opportunity to be able to the space is just gorgeous it's so lovely so to go along and to keep doing things like this i do want to get back into acting because as i said i studied music for college and the theater side just kind of fell by the wayside so uh, i'd love to get back up on stage acting and yeah i'm literally just out of college i only graduate in, in november now so i have the whole world of my oysters hey, hey. and you're, you're performing here with al porter i think yes. if anybody could convert al porter back to natural gas it could be you <laughs> <laughs> I just think, you know, it could happen. It'll be an interesting experiment to see just <laughs> how he comes out, how his whole, whole act will change. On, on, uh, as he comes out of that dressing room, he could be a different man. <laughs> <laughs> so if people are looking out for you, I know that um, are there certain places they can, uh, obviously they can find on YouTube, but I don't know if you've got a, a, you're setting up a page yet or maybe you have. Um, I have a music page. It's Remy Anna on Facebook. I have Twitter, which goes under the same name, and I will be coming back to do a few dates in the wild further on in the Rock as well, but we'll we'll include all the links here and all that, and we really look forward to uh to the gig. I think it's going to be uh, something something special. We're looking forward to it. <laughs>